Hello children, in this video, we are going to cover the topic least common multiple. In order to find out the least common multiple of 2, 3 or 4 numbers, we are going to use the prime factorization, which we did in the highest common factor as well. So the first step in order to find out the least common multiple is to pick the prime factors of the number. Once we get the prime factors of the number, we see that is there any common factors between those numbers? If yes, then we take that number one time and then take another number. Like here, we have 2 is common in both 18 and 24. So we take it one time and then we take another 2 then another 2 and then again 3 is common in both the numbers. So we take it one time and then we take the remaining 3 and multiply them with each other. If you remember, you know that in highest common factor, we only take the common prime factor and multiply them with each other. But in this common multiple, we take the common factor single time and then take the rest of the numbers as it is and then multiply them with each other in order to find out the least common multiple. And as we know that there are two methods of finding out the prime factors. You can find out the prime factor of each number separately or you can combine the numbers and then find out the prime factor. But there is a difference in the method when you are finding the prime factor of combined numbers in least common multiple. In highest common factor, we used to find out the number that is common in both the numbers or if there are three numbers that is common in the all the three numbers and then we Deduce, start deducing the numbers. But that's not the case with the least common multiple. Here as you can see that 2 is common in both 19 and 24 but 9 is not divisible by 2. But still we continue dividing the other number with 2 which is 12. So we couldn't stop here if it is the highest common factor, we stop at the point or start with the number that is common for all the numbers. But in this common multiple, you are not going to do that. We finish with the first number if still there is any entity divisible by it. Like 12 is divisible by 2, so we divide 12 by 2 and take 9 as it is. Further, we know that 6 is divisible by 2, so we divide 6 by 3, 6 by 2, and answer comes out as 3, and take 9 as it is. Now we know that they are divisible by 3, so we continue with the 3, and till then, 1 came out in against both the numbers, we will continue our practice. In that way, we have find out the prime factors for least common multiple. Now we simply multiply these all number with each other and our answer will be the least common multiple of these two numbers. This will get more clarified once we solve more question of this topic. Here we have a simple question, question 2 in which we have to find out the least common multiple of 45 and 75. Here we have taken the prime factor of the number separately. For 45, we know that it is divisible by 3 and then 5. So the prime factors comes out as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. And for 75, we started off with 3 and then with the help of the 5, we find out the prime factors of 75 and it comes out as 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Now we have arranged it in a manner 
then the common numbers come with each other. Here we can see that 3 is common in both the numbers. So we write it one time and then we have another 3. Then we have 5 which is again common. So we write it one time and then we have another 5. Now we have numbers. In the next step, we are going to multiply all these numbers with each other in order to find out the least common multiple which is 225. Now, in question 3, we have to find out the least common multiple of 56 and 196. But this time, we are going to take the numbers together in order to find out their prime factors. So we started off with the 2 and we know that 56 is completely divisible by 2 so the answer is 28. 196 is also completely divisible by 2 so the answer is 98. So here we have 28 and 98. Further dividing with 2 we have come up with the numbers 14 and 49. But now we know that 14 is still divisible by 2. But 49 is not divisible by 2 anymore. But we continue dividing these numbers as it is a least common multiple. If that's the highest common factor, we left the 2 and then divide these numbers with the 3. Because in highest common factor, you have to divide both the, the numbers with the number which is common to both. But in least common multiple, this is not a condition. So we are going to continue dividing 14 by 2 and the answer comes out as 7. And we know that 49 is not divisible by 2, so we take it as it is. Now we know that with the 7, these both numbers are divisible. Here, 7 into 1 is 7 and 7 into 7 is 49. And now again, we take 1 as it is and in order to completely resolve this, uh, this numbers, we still divide 7 with 7 in order to get 1. Now we have 1 and 1 in the answers. And we have prime factors which are 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 7, multiplied by 7, which are equivalent to 392 and this is our least common multiple. Same we did in question 4. We have numbers 9, 12 and 18. We know that 9 is not completely divisible by 2 but still we started off with 2 because we know that 12 and 18 are divisible by 2. So we take 9 as it is. Divide 12 by 2 and the answer is 6 and then divide 18 by 2 and the answer is 9. Still, 6 is divisible by 2, so we take 9 as it is, divide 6 by 2, which is 3, and then take 9 as it is. Now, we come to the 3 because we know that there is no number in these numbers which is divisible by 2 anymore. But now they are divisible by 3, so we started off with 3 and start dividing by them till the 1 comes in the end. So here we have prime factors 2 multiply by 2, multiply by 3 and multiply by 3 and after multiplying these all numbers we have 36 which is our least common multiple. Now we are going to solve the practice question in which we have to find the LCM of the numbers using prime factorization. The first set of number we have is 28 and 84. As we know that we can divide 28 and as well as 84 with 2 and the outcome is 14 and 42. Further dividing these numbers with 2 we have 7 and 21. Now both the numbers are not divisible by 2 anymore so we started off with 3. But we know that 7 is not completely divisible by 3. So we take 7 as it is and divide 21 by 3 
which results in 7. So now we have 7 and 7. With 7, we divide both these 7 and our results come out as 1 and 1. Now we have the prime factor 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7. By multiplying them with each other, we will get the LCM which is 84. Similarly, for part B, we have 135 and 120. We know that 135 is not divisible by 2, but still we started off with 2 because this is LCM and we don't need to have a common number that divide all the numbers. If any one number is divisible by the smallest number, we can start with that as well. So here we have started off with 2 because we know that when we divide 120 by 2, we have 60. So we take 135 as it is and the answer of 120 divided by 2 is 60. Now again, 60 is further divisible by 2. So we again take 135 as it is and divide 60 by 2 which results in 30. And in the next step, when we divide 30 by 2, the result is 15. Now we have 135 and 15. These both are not divisible by 2 anymore. So we type with the next number which is 3. And with 3 we have 45 and 5. Further dividing 45 and 5, we know that 45 is divisible by 3. So the answer comes out as 15. But 5 is not divisible by 3, so we take it as it is. Again, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and the other 5 is coming as it is. So now we have a set 5 and 5, which can be divided by 5, and the answer comes out as 1 and 1. So we got the prime factors, and by multiplying them with each other, we will get the LCM which is 1080 in this case. Now we have C part in which we have numbers 10 and 30. Again, we started off with 2. We divide 10 by 2 and the answer is 5. And then we divide 30 by 2 and the answer is 15. We know that 5 and 15 are not completely divisible by 2 anymore. So we take the next number, which is 3, and divide 15 by 3, as 5 is not divisible by 3, so we take as it is. Now we have a set 5, 5. Now we divide this set with 5, and the answer is 1. So we have prime factors 2, 3, and 5. By multiplying them with each other, we will get the least common factor which is 30. Up till now, we have a set of two numbers. But now, from part D, we have a set of three numbers. So here, we have a set of three numbers, which is 15, 42, and 125. We started off with 2 because 42 is completely divisible by 2 and results in 21. We take 15 and 125 as it is. Now, 15, 21 and 125 are not divisible by 2 anymore, any of these numbers. So, we move to the next number which is 3 and we know that 15 and 21 are divisible by 3. So, we have 5, 7 and 125. Now, with 5, we can easily deduce 5 and 125. So, we take 7 as it is and 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 125 divided by 5 is 25. Now, further dividing 25 with 5, we have 1 and 7 as it is and 5 is the result which we get by dividing 25 with 5. Now, we have 1, 7 and 5. 
5 is still divisible by 5 and the answer is 1. Now we have 1, 7 and 1. We have 1, 7 so we divide say, this 7 with the 7 and we have an answer 1, 1 and 1. Now we have prime factors. We multiply them with each other and our result comes out as 3, 1, 5, 0 which is the LCM of the given numbers. Similarly, for part E, we have a set of numbers 35, 75, and 50. Here we know that 50 is completely divisible by 2. So we take 35 and 75 as it is and divide 50 by 2. So we have 35, 75, and 25. Now our next number is 3 because 75 is divisible by 3. We take 35 and 25 as it is and divide 75 with 3. Now we have 35, 25 and 25. So our next choice is 5 because 5 can divide these 3 numbers and the set is 7, 5 and 5. 5 will also divide 5, so we have 7, 1 and 1. And then we divide 7 by 7, so we have 1, 1 and 1. And now we have the prime factors, which are 2, 3, 5, 5 and 7. We multiply them with each other and get the LCM as 1, 0, 5, 0. For the last part, we have 20, 45 and 150. We note that 20 and 150 are completely divisible by 2. So we divide 20 by 2 which comes out as 10. We take 45 as it is and then we divide 150 by 2 and the answer is 75. Now we have again 10, 45 and 75. 10 is divisible by 2, so the answer is 5. 45 comes as it is, as well as 75. Now we have another number, or the next number, which is 3, that can divide 45 and 75. So we have 5 comes out as it is. 45 divided by 3 is 15, and 75 divided by 3 is 25. Continuing with 3, as 15 is still divisible by 3, so we continue dividing by 3 and 5 comes out as, as it is. 15 divided by 3 is 5 and 25 comes out as, as it is. Now we have the next number that can divide this set of number is 5. So we divide 5 by 5 and the answer is 1 and 1 and 25 divided by 5 is 5, so we have 1, 1, and 5. Further dividing the last 5 with 5, we have all the 1s in the end, and we have the prime factors, which are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. So multiplying them with each other, we have LCM, which is 900. Hope this video helps you in understanding the least common multiple. Please feel free to ask the questions in the comments. Thank you for watching.